Okay, come on. I think it's pretty cool to be called a cult leader, especially of professional skin therapists. We are like a big family. A cult is a little bit of an overstatement, but we're certainly pretty close. Well, just like being the entrepreneur of a business where you control its destiny and you grow it to be as big as it can, I believe being the entrepreneur of our own lives means living your biggest life, finding what really it is that you love to do and that it makes a difference to other people. And living that big life, I believe, is the one piece of fulfillment that leads us to our purpose. The most important advice I ever received was from my mum when I was quite young. And she said, learn how to do something. And the reason she said that was she was widowed at age 38 with four girls to raise. She was a skilled nurse. So that training, knowing how to do that, meant she could support our family. And so, yes, I guess that was the most important thing that's ever been said to me. The best advice I could give to someone who's just starting out in their career, whatever their career is, there's only one of you. You are an original. When I look at my hands or my skin, our, our fingerprints are completely original to us. So be yourself. Don't ever shrink yourself. Be authentically who you are and speak your truth, even when your voice is shaking. That's what makes the difference between you and anyone else. What motivates me is seeing people able to seize opportunities, to have options and choices in their life that allows them to be self-determined. And so what motivates me and, and I believe is my purpose is helping people in any way that I can have that freedom to be self-determined. And whether that means uh, increasing their business opportunities or increasing their personal opportunities, I'm all in. I believe success is having choices and options to pursue whatever it is you feel self-determined to do in your life. And I think that uh, success is that freedom and liberty to be fully authentic to who you are and to claim it. The name Domologica came from Raymond and, and myself sitting in our one bedroom apartment in Marina del Rey what makes sense for skin? And Ray said, what's the Latin? And I said, derma for skin and logica for, for sensible. And he said, derma logica. And that was it. What inspired me when we first started Derma logica was this idea of disrupting the concept of a beauty product. It was about skin health, it was non-gender specific, it wasn't about pampering or luxury, it was about results. And what inspires me now is the fact that we need products that are non-gender specific, that uh, speak to the health and wellness of our bodies and our minds. And I'm really excited that the time has finally come. Well, I love the word beauty when it's applied to a sunset or a mountain or gorgeous uh, flower. I don't like it when it's applied to people, especially typically women. I think it's objectifying. I think it's a little ageist. I think it's too narrow. I don't want to be beautiful. I want to be significant. I want to matter. And I think they're two different things. I believe that skin therapists and, and this concept of being in the industry, the business, the career of human touch and human connection is vital. And I think as much more electronically and technologically connected as we are, we have an equal and opposite need for human connection, empathy, kindness, love, touch. And that's where professional skin therapists come in more than any other career I can think of. Human touch to me means the ability to connect deeply with another human being in an intentional way that is for their benefit. And I believe that 
when we're held, when we're hugged, when we're touched, and when we're cared for, that's when we truly receive um, human love. Los Angeles was the perfect place for Domologica to launch. In the 1980s, it was and still is a hotbed of entrepreneurship. There's an energy and a creativity here that until you live and work here, I don't know that you truly feel it and understand it in the way that, that we did when we moved here. And LA was perfect and still is. It's so hard to pick a favorite Dermalogica product because to me, they're all like my children. I love them equally. If I had to pick just one that I could run away with and have nothing else, it would be special cleansing gel. Uh, I can wash my face. It was the first soap-free cleanser to ever launch. I can wash my hair with it. I could wash my body. And in a pinch, and I've done this, in a hotel room, you can even rinse out your underwear and it's all good. <laughs> The story behind Daily Microfoliant is very personal because I was teaching in Japan many years ago and after a very hard couple of months of teaching in Southeast Asia, I decided I was going to take myself to an onsen, a Japanese hot mineral spring, traditional onsen. And uh, when I was there, I was waiting to be inspired for a new product idea and I didn't feel that I had been. When I left Hakone, the town where I was staying in Japan, I thought back to what had happened to me during that week. And I remembered a very ancient, traditional treatment that was offered to me, which was finely ground rice powder, used and massaged on the body in small concentric circles. And from that idea of taking rice powder with, with massage, and keeping it a powder, not a cream or a lotion. Um, by the time I drove back to Tokyo, two and a half hours later, I had the idea for Daily Microfoliant. Edith Sitwell um, once said a very famous line, and she said, I am an electric eel in a sea of goldfish. In other words, she stood out. She was seen as being eccentric, but my goodness, electric. So I absolutely see myself as being an eel and uh, being unafraid to be different to everything else around me.